Howdy tech fans, I'm Dave Graveline. This is your weekly trip into tomorrow. Coming up, I'm going to show you how technology is invading our bathrooms. But first, I want to remind you that our Ask Dave hotline is always open for you. If you have any question related to technology, a tip for our audience, or maybe you have some tech rage you want to share with us, call us anytime, 24-7, 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. Don't forget that our free app is available too. You can select the audio option and send us your question or comment that way. We'd love to reach into our prize closet and send you a prize for participating on our radio show. Just search for those two words, Into Tomorrow, in your favorite app store. The more we talk about the connected home, the more we talk about other products that, while not necessarily connected, are becoming more high-tech. Smart toilets are now among them. We've talked a lot over the years about my favorite toilet edition, the Spa Lou, and even did a separate, very popular product spotlight on it. Maybe the title of Dave on his toilet got more views, but be sure to check that out on our YouTube channel. Some companies are now offering new toilets and devices that not only help save water, but also prevent overflows, detect leaks, help stop the spread of germs, and frankly, they're cool because they use tech. The ability to flush without touching anything means fewer germs to pick up or leave behind. Delta Toilets with Flush IQ technology offer these latest innovations. Now, in this case, you do have to replace your toilet. And while it's fairly easy for the typical do-it-yourselfer, we're tech guys. So we hired our favorite plumber, Bobby, from Centerline Plumbing to swap out an old one here at our studios with the new Delta. So he yanked out our existing toilet and then unboxed and installed the Delta Brevard Flush IQ model that comes with its own batteries. He said it was pretty much a standard replacement, no big deal. A sensor on the back of the bowl monitors the water level in it. If the water level rises to a critical point, the sensor will prevent additional flushes until the overflow issue is resolved. The LED display will flash red and blue, indicating that there's an issue. Built-in sensors alert you to possible tank leaks, potentially saving money and water. Typical tank or toilet leaks can go undetected by many homeowners. Even the smallest leak in an old flapper can waste gallons of water by slowly draining your tank. When water leaks from your tank into the bowl, a typical tank will continually refill itself. These toilets with Flush IQ technology have a sensor that will detect a drop in the water level in the tank and will not refill it. The LED indicator will change to yellow the next time the toilet is flushed, indicating there's a potential leak. You heard me mention earlier that this toilet runs on batteries. Depending on usage, the four AA batteries included will last up to two years. However, you can pull out the AA adapter inside the battery box and then use four C batteries, and that could get you up to five years of toilet battery life. The Delta Toilet Kit includes the tank, bowl, toilet seat, mounting hardware, wax ring, and smart fit multi-tool. No additional tools are needed. Oh, and its seat and lid even go down slowly and quietly. We've seen this high-tech toilet available from about $250 upwards to around 500 bucks. Now, if you're not looking to replace the entire toilet and still want to experience a touch-free flush, take a look at the Kohler Touchless Toilet Flush Kit. To flush, you simply wave your hand over the tank. You can upgrade your existing toilet to a no-touch flush. This easy-to-install retrofit kit brings a touchless flush to almost any toilet. Once it's installed, your hand activates the tank sensor to generate the flush. It's easy to install, took Bobby about 15 minutes, battery operated, and fits most toilets. Again, no handle to touch means fewer germs to pick up or leave behind. The kit includes a trip lever hole cover 
and a hand indicator decal that you place over where the touchless module is located inside the tank. The touchless module projects a field through the top of the tank lid that senses your hand, causing the toilet to flush. When batteries are low, the unit will beep five times at half-second intervals when activated to indicate it's time to replace those batteries. You can get the Kohler Touchless Toilet Flush Kit for around 50 bucks. We'd love to hear your thoughts on products like these. Leave us a comment below, call our Ask Dave hotline, or use our free Into Tomorrow app and tell us anytime. Well, it's time to climb aboard our Wayback Machine. Chris Grave lines up next to take us on a journey into yesterday with his feature this week in tech history. Among other things, he reminds us of the birth of FM radio. This week in 1873, E. Remington and Sons of Ilion, New York, began the manufacturing of the first practical typewriter. The strong as steel, heavy black clunkers became instant fixtures in offices across the country. It would be another half century before electric typewriters made their appearance. In 1885, this week, the American Telephone and Telegraph Company, or AT&T, was incorporated in New York State as a subsidiary of the American Bell Telephone. In 1941, FM radio began in the U.S. when station W47NV in Nashville, Tennessee started operations. W47NV was the first commercial FM radio station to receive a license, some 20 years after its AM radio counterpart KDKA in Pittsburgh. And this week in 1954, the first color television sets using the NTSC standard were offered for sale to the general public. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA Berlin, the global innovation show for consumer electronics and home appliances and the official partner of the future. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. Make sure you check out our free once a week tech newsletter. You can subscribe to it on our main page at intotomorrow.com. Just enter your email address in the red box and you'll get us in your inbox once a week. Make sure you also get social with us. Check out our Facebook page and hit that like button while you're there. Then follow our official Twitter feed Stay up to date on all things Into Tomorrow, including this ITTV channel. Well, that does it for this week's Peek Into Tomorrow. I'm Dave Braveline. You can catch us right here again next week. Until then, we'll see you online and, of course, on the radio. My head down. Why? I need a white balance. Yeah, that's not nice. Gee, oh. there. Do your white balance.